The guys behind the camera are always reminding me to say to you, please subscribe and PayPal, because they want to get paid. I understand that. But we're talking about climate change. Justin Trudeau, in every speech, talks about spending more money, more taxes, to make sure that he beats climate change. Dr. Blair Feltman is a professor. He's with the University of Waterloo. He joins me right now because he has a provocative position on this, because generations have been saying, we're going to beat climate change. Are we? Uh, one of the fundamental things we need to understand is that climate change has happened, is happening, will continue to happen. We're not going backwards on climate change. Expressions of extreme weather risk driven by climate change are going to get more challenging going forward. And one of the things we really need to do in Canada is prepare for the bigger floods, the fires, the heat waves, and so forth that are so coming out of So is all this just baloney when people go to Paris and when they go to Glasgow and they have thousands of people there getting out these statements saying, we are going to put so much more money, we're going to cut oil and gas emissions, we are going to knock all those jobs out west out of sight, and hardship for people, is all that just for naught? No, it might not be for naught, but the, the most we're going to do by mitigating greenhouse gas emissions is slow down the rate of climate change, but we're not going to go backwards on it. it, it it's built into our system uh, now, and uh, that's a, a, a fundamental tenet that people have a, large time, a difficult time accepting. So Blair, um, we understand that then, that it's not going to, uh, to go away, but can we mitigate it? And can Canada do anything? So some experts are telling me, no matter what Canada does, with India and China and other countries, we're still going to have huge global warming. Yes, uh, that's right. And basically, if we think of ourselves as part of the global citizenry, if you will, right. you might argue that by reducing our greenhouse gas emissions, we're overall contributing to slowing down the rate of climate change. But at the end of the day, people have to realize that it is still going to change. Uh, we're going to Because get of nature? Uh, well, it's, it's, it's nature on steroids, driven by the burning of fossil fuels, elevated concentrations of CO2 in the atmosphere so are making the weather... So man has exacerbated what is nature correct. is doing. That's correct. Exactly. Yeah. The greenhouse effect, in and of itself, is a good thing. Without it, we would just be sitting on a frozen ball, or we wouldn't be here at all. Right. So the greenhouse effect is good. The problem is now we've got too much greenhouse effect through the burning of fossil fuels, pumping CO2 into the atmosphere, and it traps energy that would normally escape into space. More and more of that gets trapped in our, our atmosphere, causing warming. And the warmer the system is, there's more energy in it, and we get more extreme weather due to that elevated energy. So uh, just for the bottom line is, because we're almost up to three minutes, hmm. is that you know, it's going to happen no matter what. It's going to happen no matter what. Dr. Pomey, thank you very much. Three minutes. Thank you very, very much for watching and for engaging in the three minutes, which will carry you through most discussions for the day. 2022 is going to be a very, very tough year. Stay with us. Please tell your friends to subscribe and PayPal. Thanks.